Black Spider is the name of several fictional characters who were DC Comics supervillains. The first two were both primarily the enemies of Batman. Fictional character biographies. Equals Eric Needham equals, the original Black Spider first appeared in Detective Comics No. 463 and was created by Jerry Conway. Eric Needham is a small-time crook who is addicted to heroin. Eric was first sentenced to prison after mugging and nearly killing an elderly woman but, as a minor, he was out in three years. Over the next 24 months, Eric married his friend Linda Morrill and they had a son, Michael. Desperate for money to buy more drugs, he robs a liquor store. He kills the owner, who turns out to be his father. After being arrested, he kicks the habit out of remorse and begins a war on the drug trade. Donning a costume, he becomes a self-styled vigilante and begins killing those suspected of dealing drugs. This brings him into conflict with Batman. Needham believes that the two should be allies, as he sees common purpose in their war against criminals. His murderous methods, however, continually put him at odds with the Dark Knight. Needham's paraphernalia and missions as the Black Spider were bankrolled by a man who was secretly involved with narcotics and wants to take out the competition. Despite his professed desire to fight criminals, the Black Spider occasionally allies himself with costumed villains. Ostensibly, Black Spider's goal in this is to seek revenge against Batman, or at least, this is how he attempted to justify his actions in his own mind. Needham also faced King Faraday and Nightshade in a brief flashback in Secret Origins No. 28. During his war, Needham's wife and son are killed by a drug lord who discovers the Black Spider's identity. In a rage, the spider prepares for one final assault. After being shot multiple times, Needham invades the drug lord's headquarters and detonates explosives strapped to his back, killing the drug dealers in the process. Eric Needham later turns up in Neil Gaiman's critically acclaimed fantasy comic The Sandman, dating supporting character, Little Hall. No explanation was given for his resurrection. Whatever the case, Needham's survival has since been confirmed and the character has made subsequent appearances as the Black Spider, such as in the miniseries Underworld Unleashed. He was seen in Identity Crisis as an ally of Deadshot, Monocle, and Merlin. He is later a member of the Society. He is one of the villains sent to retrieve the Get Out of Hell free card from the Secret Six. In the New 52, Eric appears as a member of the The Suicide Squad, though he resents being forced to work with criminals despite being one himself. Despite his holier-than-thou attitude towards much of the team, he does not view himself as a hero, just as a man who kills criminals, even willing to smother them in their hospital beds. He is also slightly overconfident of his abilities, getting himself injured multiple times while assuming he could easily defeat several armed opponents. Amanda Waller eventually offers him an opportunity to quit the team, stating that he is not a monster like the others. Eric declines, stating that he needs the team after losing his family. However, this turns out to be a ploy, as Needham was actually a double agent working for Regulus of the terrorist group Basilisk. A double of Black Spider had accompanied the team to Basilisk's hideout, only to be shot by Deadshot, who realized it wasn't the true Spider because he would have dodged the bullet. The real Black Spider had invaded Amanda Waller's grandmother's home in order to kill both of them. However, he underestimates the cunning of both the senior Waller and the younger Waller, and is defeated. He was then locked away in maximum security at Belle Reve. Equals Johnny La Monica equals. The second Black Spider first appeared in Batman No. 518. Professional hitman Johnny La Monica takes the name Black Spider, when he is sent to kill the crime lord Black Mask. He is thwarted by Batman and sent to prison. He sustains injuries during this incident that leaves his face a disfigured web of scars, giving his choice of codename an ironic touch. He is later killed by Detective Crispus Allen during a gang shooting. Black Spider had opened fire on Detective Renee Montoya, preparing to kill her, when Alan unloaded his magazine on the villain. Equals Derek Co equals, a third Black Spider appears shortly after as a member of the Society. He first appeared in Birds of Prey No. 87. Other Society members reported that he was presumed dead. Real name Derek Co, 
he apparently bought his villain franchise from the calculator, who assigns him to help torture Savant into revealing the identity of Oracle. When Oracle sends in her task force, the Birds of Prey, to rescue Savant, Savant throws Ko out a window, nearly killing him a Euro Black Canary speculates that he may be a Mtahuman, allowing him to survive the experience. He was also seen in Gotham during the battle for the cow, fighting and losing to Manhunter. Ko later resurfaces as a member of the new Injustice League and one of the exiled supervillains in Salvation Run. In other media. Equals television equals, Black Spider appears in Young Justice voiced by Josh Keaton. He is a member of the League of Shadows. In Infiltrator, Black Spider, Cheshire and Hook are sent to defeat the Young Justice team and assassinate Dr. Serling Rocket. He was knocked out by Kid Flash. According to Greg Wiseman, Black Spider escaped from the prison transport before it could reach Belle Reeve. He reappeared later in Insecurity, where he tried to assassinate a reporter named Benal Jones only to be thwarted by Green Arrow and Artemis. Equals film equals, Black Spider appears in the animated movie Superman Batman, Public Enemies. He is one of the many supervillains trying to collect the bounty on Superman. The Eric Needham version of Black Spider appears in Batman, Assault on Arkham, voiced by Gian Salo Esposito. He appears as a member of the Suicide Squad, along with Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Killer Frost and King Shark. Like every other member of the squad, he's given the task by Amanda Waller to retrieve a memory stick hidden in the Riddler's cane and also has a small bomb implanted in his neck. During the infiltration of Arkham Asylum, Black Spider disguises himself as a chef whom he kills. Later, he and the rest of the squad fight Batman, who later defeats Black Spider and switches costumes with him, in order to join the Suicide Squad without their knowledge. He is last seen walking weakly until the Joker ambushes and attempts to murder him, only for Waller to do so by triggering the bombs, which kills only Black Spider and King Shark, since the others had theirs deactivated by the Riddler. Equals video games equals, Black Spider was mentioned in Batman, Arkham Origins. He is mentioned in a file folder at the Sinist Steel Mill with a red rejected stamp on it implying that Joker considered hiring him to assassinate Batman, but decided against it just like he decided against hiring Cheshire and David Kane to assassinate Batman. Equals miscellaneous equals, the Eric Needham version of Black Spider appears as a member of the Black Masks gang in Batman Adventures No. 5-8. Black Spider appeared in the comic book spin-off of Young Justice. In issue No. 3, he was sent with Hook to assassinate Verano Enterprises CEO Selena Gonzalez. Black Spider and Hook ran into Robin, Aqualad, and Kid Flash where Black Spider tied them up in his webs. In issue No. 4, Robin, Aqualad, and Kid Flash broke free and defeated Black Spider and Hook. See also, List of Batman Family Adversaries. References External links, Black Spider Appearances at Grand Comics Database